you know, I googled why can't queens move like a knight, and the answer was because they're not on a horse. Queens yeah. can't move like knights because they're not on a horse. Yeah. No. <laughs> I I have not googled that. That's um that's a new one to me too. <laughs> to be fair, it adds up. It makes sense. <laughs> All right, I'm just opening another Clog window. Oh, good one, Pokey. Thanks, chat. <laughs> the queen's not on a horse. It yeah. It was Google. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so I'm going to show you another game. This is like a very short game, but it's a, a force checkmate. So, um, so there's the same development. Black pushes the pawn. So normally, um, you want you want to play in the center of the board here. Mm-hmm. So white pushes the pawn. Black moves the bishop here. So the knight is pinned temporarily, right? With the queen on the queen on d1 under attack. Mm -hmm. So white takes. Now let's say black were to take this pawn here. Just do the the um just what's under attack or how you can win material here. Yep, your queen has been made bare. However, your king is still mm -hmm. uh defending it. Um. I can take also. So what happens if you capture this pawn here? You're looking at this from the white side, right? Yep. Okay. So what would black's next move be here? Then he takes queen, so I don't take. Well, actually, yeah, but you would actually take with the queen, and this is checkmate. <gasps> That's even worse. Hmm. <laughs> so I think I need to do something about this essentially mm -hmm. open file. Is there a way that I can block and attack a piece at the same time? Well, right right now you see you would love to capture this pawn, but you can't do that because if you move the knight, you lose your queen. Mm -hmm. So there's what's called breaking, breaking the pin in a sense. So like, for example, let's say your queen is here. There's no longer a pin. You're, you're free, let's just say I make a move, to capture the pawn because the queen is not on any of these light squares anymore. Mm-hmm. So, is okay. there another move here? Another way to do that? So you would love to uh, capture this perhaps, pawn. Perhaps, perhaps this to cover it instead. Okay, that's that's a good move. But actually, you can I just take. I guess it's more like take. blocking than. Right, and then what's your next move? Then I take. Right, and there's nothing there's nothing on this diagonal for the bishop to capture. Mm -hmm. That's a plus one. Is that worth it? Yes. Well, it's worth it um, not just because it's plus one, but because your opponent has moved their king. So once you move the oh, king... Oh, yeah! Which is good, because he can't castle anymore. Exactly. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So here, black trades the bishop for the knight. Oh, I have to say, I have this habit that I probably... Or reflex that I need to break, which is that, like, in my mind my queen is worth much more than anything else. Like, she's supposed to be worth nine, but I'm just so afraid to give her up because I know the queen-king checkmate so well. I mean, I think if it's an even trade, a queen for a queen, then then um, that, then, then Does you should Does that favor the better player or the worst player? Normally, that's going to favor the better player. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if it's just keep that yeah. in mind and be confident, like I want to trade my queen because I'm better than them. Well, yeah, but I think you actually the style what you should play for openings is it should be much more aggressive without queen trades. Okay. Okay, so there's there's this even trade here. Mhm. Mm so how would you try to um, create a checkmate here if you're white? So you want to threaten a checkmate. Uh, I see this diagonal, but also it's blocked by this. Let's mm -hmm. see if there's anything else. So remember, when you want to create a checkmate, you need to use like the queen and another piece. Skewer. Otherwise, wait, no. Mm. So 
So remember before it was the queen and the knight. Mm -hmm. So now think about like the queen and the bishop here. I feel like I move him. But I'm trying to figure out if I move him here or here. Uh -huh. but I don't like how moving him here just gets blocked like this. Yeah, very good. So maybe I move him out like this and try to get my queen here somehow. That it's queen, queen, moves, queen here, but... queen here. Well, when you go here, oh, you're threatening oh, here. right away oh, on the square. True. Oh, that's like scholars, mate. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It's it's like it's a version of it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So okay. So okay. so black blocks it. I wonder. Can you find a way to attack this pawn now? Because right now, if you capture the pawn, I just recapture your bishop. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. But if you go here, I capture your queen. But that, that's that's good. So what's uh, what's another way to try to attack this pawn where you can capture it and you won't your opponent won't be able to recapture the bishop? Directly attack or remove the defender. Directly directly attack, but is is there a way that you can try to Okay, so is there a way that you can try to remove this defender? Like this. That's a good move. Um but if you want to remove it like if you go here, uh, you move your bishop here and you capture the knight, that's just a bishop for one knight. Mhm. Mm so is there another move to try to... And then it's still tech. Right. So you want to remove this knight. Is there another move that you can play here? Mm. My knight is gone. Right. So what, what you basically like if you move the bishop you'll trade the bishop for the knight but you really want to either capture this knight where like the knight's worth three and there's something less or like or your opponent moves their knight away from this square and then you capture this pawn i think oh wait uh can i not do this Okay, so there are a couple things. So so I'm talking about a theme of removing this defender. So one way to mm -hmm. try and remove it would be to push this pawn. Now, I'm not saying that you should do this, but it's just so you see the concept, um, which and is like... push it again? Right, because... So I was looking at like, yeah. Because if I move the knight, then what's your next move? Right, and that's checkmate. Checkmate, The bishop yeah. protects the queen. And if I mm. don't move my knight, uh, like if I just say move, move, or if I just castle, then you take the knight with your pawn. And the knight mm -hmm. is worth three, and the pawn is worth one. So it's very worth, yeah. Right. Now, in this case, um, it's it's a little bit aggressive to try and push your pawns, but try and like push your pawns out really early before you develop your king. Um, but again, and is you've it, castled, yeah. Right. But in this case, this is a slight exception. It's not about pushing the pawn, but is there a way to try and put more pressure on this pawn on f7? The only quick way I see is the that okay. you can't because mm -hmm. he takes. Yeah, I know. So I'm right. trying to think of something else. Mm. Is there another square? I wait. If I do this, then I am doubling up on it. What's that called? Skewer. Uh, it's well, it's a, it's a battery. Battery. It's the oh, right move, by the way. It's, but yeah, it's sorry. it's a battery. Battery. Skewer but it, it's, is when it's, you're mm -hmm. going through two things. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so so like the battery, like here. This is actually. Why why is this so strong? Do, do you see like what's happening here? You're attacking this pawn. And actually, oh. Mm -hmm. What else? Still. Check me. I know it's check. Okay, so well, let, let me move my knight mm -hmm. here. You capture. I move my king. Mm -hmm. Try to find a checkmate. Yeah, yeah. Of Think? course. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's just Nothing checkmate. Can take. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Very this nice. Is so early on. 
in the game too. Right, so you'll see, pu actually now that you've seen this checkmate with the bishop and the queen, you'll see puzzles that have checkmates like this. <laughs> but secondly, besides this threat of this pawn, you're actually, it's a double attack on both these pawns at the same time. Oh well, yeah. Because you're attacking the pawn next to the king with two, but you're also attacking mm -hmm. this pawn. And there's no way for black to defend both undefended. of these. Yeah. Now, for example, let's say we reach this position. Can black defend both these pawns with, with one move? You would have to keep it. Yeah. There are, there are three squares. You can go to this one, this one, or this one. But all, all three of these squares, basically, they defend both of the pawns at the same time. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer this one? Because it's defended by two. Wait, which one? Um, so actually, let me ask you a question. Th this is going to be turning to the game, but why is this move very, this is, this is actually a very bad move. Why is this a bad move? I think because if my queen ever takes, it'll probably be checkmate. So, something more complex. This, this, why is this one? Because it's easily pinned. Okay. Yeah. So you can actually, this is going to turn into the game, but, um, why is this square much worse than say this square? If I do this and then I do this. Okay, so. Oh wait, do you mean this one or this one? <laughs> this one is much worse. This is much worse than yeah. than the, these two squares. Why is this one yeah, much cause... worse? If I take here, your no, your queen can't take right now. I'd have to be here and then if I take. Right. But if I do this, your queen will just take. Yeah, so the reason this one's much worse is because think about these, the, this bishop and this rook. Mm -hmm. This queen blocks this bishop. The bishop cannot, oh, yeah. it can't come out. So for example, if I move my queen here, this bishop has three squares that it can be developed to. True. But with this... She's pause champing him. Exactly, yeah. It's, yeah, you, you're, you're pause champing your whole, uh, all, your, all, all your pieces, basically. True. So, okay, so in the game, black moves the queen here. Now, white mm -hmm. probably should have taken this pawn, but they didn't. They, they moved the knight, black pushed the pawn. Mm -hmm. So now the, both the pawns are, to, are protected, and white moved the bishop here. Mm -hmm. So the, what is this called? A pin. Right, so you can't move the knight or else you lose the queen. Mm -hmm. So black pushes this pawn. White takes. Black takes, white takes here. So white has given up um, mm -hmm. one knight for two pawns. But look at the, if you look at the black pieces, they have not really been developed in this position. At all, yeah. So black goes here. And now, and this this is a case where you actually castle the king this way, to, to the queen side of the board, castling long. Um, so you castle long, and the Why reason... Why is that? Mm -hmm. Well, so if you look at the position, you see these two bishops? Mm -hmm. there, are, there are actually are multiple pins here. So yep. I can't move the knight because otherwise I lose my king. But also mm -hmm. you're threatening to take the knight because let's say I push the pawn and you capture. What happens if I capture with the knight? I right. capture with the bishop. Right. So this is actually really powerful because there are two, the, both the bishops are pinning the knights and, and, the, and the queen, or the king and the queen, mm -hmm. sorry. So black moves the rook here. Actually, let's, let's say I castle. Can you find a checkmate in two? So try to make make some checks here and, and attack the king. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm looking at my options. I see this check. Mm -hmm. Other checks? Are there any other checks? Ooh. Okay, sorry, not this check. I'm just seeing that it defends mm -hmm. it. And also just this. Are there any other checks? Hmm. Okay, so this is actually the correct move. And now I move my king mm -hmm. up. Because that's the least, like, defended one, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, if I do this, I'm protected. But I'm also... Oh, actually, I think this is better. Because then I'm in his face. It's also the end of the game. Yeah. Because the king can't go here since your rook has, uh, the rook, rook covers the square. So this is actually just checkmate. Yay! 
So again, this I is like kind the of in your face check. <laughs> <laughs> right. So if you ever get the bishop and like the queen again, though, it's the same thing. Like you see how the bishop and the queen are really close to the king again. Like mm -hmm. once the king has no pawns and there's nothing, nothing around the king, the bishop and the queen are really, really strong here. So it's it's kind of like the yeah. same checkmate in a way. Oh, you castled queenside because the king ended up queenside, and that gives your rook more power. Is that correct? Uh, it's just the king goes over two, and the rook goes over 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 uh, three squares. No, I mean here. Well, what, right. So when you castle to the king side, it's like it's like this. Mm -hmm. When you castle the queen side, it's actually like this versus like normally you would think if you castle to the other side, it would be. Um, like here and here. Yeah, let me just make a couple. Yeah, it'd be like something like you would think this is castle, but it's not the yeah. same on that side. It's the king goes over two, and the rook goes over three. So, like in this case, like for example, you know, if it was like the the king side castle, it would not be effective because the rook is just there's a pawn in front of the rook. Mm-hmm. But is there um? <laughs> mm -hmm. Could you like castle into a check? No, if, if you're in check, you can't castle into a check. And um, let me just make a couple of moves just to give you an example. Can you castle to check them? Like if yes. the king was here mm -hmm. and uh, my pieces were normal, mm -hmm. I can could. castle. Oh, interesting. But like black here can't castle because when you move the king over two squares, it can't, it can't go through a square where it would be under attack. So like black I cannot see. move the king because the king would have Even to cross the square. Even if it ends up in a square where it's not attacked? Correct, because it would have to cross oh. the square, which right now the rook would, would capture the king. So you can't castle oh. if, if you're having to cast through a square where your king would be under attack. Got it. But you're, you're right that basically if, if your opponent's king is like here, you can just you can gladly castle and check the king. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that, that is correct. My brain is expanding. <laughs> you're doing very well. Surely. You're doing very, very well. <laughs> Am I for being one week in a chest? Yeah, you're doing very well. You're doing very, very well. So, okay, so, so Black moves this rook over Thank to protect. <laughs> and, so, and so now, like, you're, you're trying to, um, like, in this position, you're behind by one rook right now. Your opponent has a queen, a bishop knight, and two rooks. You have a queen, two bishops, and, and, um, and a rook. So you're behind by one rook. Mm-hmm. But you don't really want to say take get rid when, when you're behind by material no, you're attacking. It like gets rid of right. your potential checkmate. Right. So the correct move is actually to move the rook here. And the reason is because black cannot capture the rook because your king is still pinned. Mm -hmm. And the queen is also still pinned. So like there you can't really move this but knight. But you either. can capture. Yeah. Right. So black moves his queen to break the break the pin. Um, of the queen on this diagonal from this bishop on this dark square. Uh, I am thinking maybe then mm -hmm. it's worthwhile to trade, but I'm not sure. Okay, so this is the correct move. Black captures. Yeah. And now I want to see if you can find a checkmate here. And if I capture... Okay. Can Wait, uh -huh. I'm trying to brain it through. And then if I do this, then I'm good, right? Yeah, that's it, that's checkmate. That's the end of the game. Okay. You made it sound like that was the wrong thing. <laughs> well, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't so much about that. It's that like you found that really really quickly. Like I'm telling you, back rank. Well, it's not really that, but <laughs> Well, yeah, it's, sim it's similar, though. You're right. Like, it's the king is... It's similar, because, yeah. like, the piece is behind. Mm-hmm. And can't really pick. Yeah. Exactly. No, no, that that's uh, that's absolutely perfect. That's, yeah. I could not have done that better myself. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're memeing. <laughs> no, no, I mean, everyone in my chat is kind of shocked, too. That was just, like, that was really, really impressive. Really? Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, because normally, like... Uh, like this is why like now, now you're making me think about openings and these sorts of things because like mm -hmm. a lot of times people who are very new to the games new to the game they're very um they're very defensive like giving up like like sacrifice a queen looking to attack right away it's not it's not easy to it's, do 
Yeah. It's very, very difficult. <laughs> okay. Um, it's not intuitive to, like, yeet your queen out. <laughs> but if you get checkmate, it's very worth it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that was, um... That's very, very good. Ooh. Wow. Um, let me think. So, you, so do you want to keep going or is your brain fried? Like, how are you doing? I keep going. Okay, um... Oh, uh, yeah, I was gonna say when you were talking about openings and stuff, the only thing I've learned so far, only a very little bit, is the London system because a, a system is unlike an opening in the sense that you can always do a system, but you can't always do an opening. It's dependent also on mm -hmm. what your opponent does, right? Right. Okay. That being said, I don't actually think that's a... Well, we'll look at some openings. I don't think that's the um, the best idea because the based on what I'm seeing in terms of how you're spotting these um, these combinations or these se sequences I to make checkmate... I should some aggressive openings is what you're going to say. Huh? Exactly, yes. <laughs> okay, um, let me think. What is a good starting point? All right, I think... Okay, so first, you're, you're still in the window. Okay, I think you should play E4 with white. Let's say your opponent plays mm -hmm. um, pawn to c5. So I don't. I don't think most of your opponents are going to probably do this move. I think most most of your opponents are most likely to push the pawn to the center. Um, mm -hmm. But I think what you should play is you should actually play play this gambit variation, which is play d4. Black captures no gambit. Sorry. No, this is actually a different <laughs> gambit. That that's when you lose your queen for nothing. That's like. Okay, can I just say mm -hmm. for. Up until like two days ago, this whole time, I thought the Botez Gambit was like a very elaborate move where you like sacrifice your queen to get a checkmate. It wasn't until like two days ago where someone was like, no, you just lose the queen. It ends there. That's it. Yep. Yeah, it's slightly different. Slightly different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you, you don't want to do that. You definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> So what what yeah what I'm gonna what I'm gonna recommend like is there there are many opening setups I mean I can't even explain everything just like right now because there are too many different setups mm -hmm. but let's say yeah. we'll take a look at the Sicilian setup which is this this uh, when you push your pawn in front of the king and they push the pawn uh, next to their queen two squares and then also a little bit of mm -hmm. just the symmetrical both both players push the pawns um, so let's say Black pushes the pawn here what I'm gonna recommend you play is you push this pawn mm -hmm. Black okay. takes. And you play this pawn push. Mm -hmm. So when your opponent takes, they've actually captured two of your pawns, and you're only going to capture one of their pawns after this move. But my advantage is perhaps diagonal and queen moves and diagonal here. But yes. I, I don't know what's yeah. next. No, 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 no. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Basically, <laughs> the, the, the biggest reason is that your opponent can develop their knight, for example. And both players mm -hmm. have developed a knight. But the big advantage is that you you get this bishop on this really um, long diagonal immediately. Mm -hmm. So and it's the same one that your queen mm -hmm. can go to to attack the weak pawn. Right. Down. Right. Or you can move the queen here, or you can move the queen here and attack. Oh, true. So normally your opponent's probably going to say push this pawn here, mm -hmm. and the reason is to uh, prevent you from attacking this pawn here um, next to the king. Mm -hmm. But now you can move your knight out. And again, you see Black had to waste a move by pushing the pawns. So you, you have uh, both your knights and your bishop developed, and your opponent only has one knight developed here. Mm -hmm. So now let's say Black moves this knight out here. In a previous, um, I think I think at the, the very start, I explained like, if you move this knight out, you have to be very aware of, of, um, of the knight being attacked early. So is there a move potentially that you could play here? Yeah. I don't know if there's another mm -hmm. one, but that's the that's, first that's a good move. But actually, what you what, what you can do is you can actually attack this knight right away. Oh, true. Because your knight protects this pawn. Just... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, if Black moves the knight to the center, you can capture. And which way would you capture this pawn here in the center? Reflex is this way, but I actually think you do. Queen, mm -hmm. and then checkmate. Hopefully, exactly. unless they have something to counter it. Yeah, exactly. I don't think so. Yeah, this is completely correct. Um, so is this just like the long bait? Yeah. So long this is long? like trying to be very aggressive and attack at the very start of the game. Ah. 
Well, and so, so I like, like I will have to study that sequence of moves just to see alternate. Well, there's there's a lot more to it. I mean, I yeah, yeah there, there's a lot more to it, but it's like just show, showing the basis of what happens. So like now, just like from um from a visual like kind of when you look at this bishop here, you see how it's on essentially an open diagonal. Let me just just move so I can il illustrate it better. It's on this diagonal that's completely open. So the bishop is attacking towards the pawn here. Mm -hmm. And if you if you go back to this position, like one of the reasons I pushed this pawn in front of my king was to close this diagonal. So the bishop is it's not really attacking anything. There's just this mm -hmm. pawn in the way, so you can never really get towards where the king is. So normally, like it, your opponent, like if your opponent's playing this position, they'll push the pawn first. And the reason is because when they do this move and you push the pawn, they kind of have to move the knight to the toward the edge of the board. Now let let me say I move my knight here. That's I want grim. Yes, but can you figure out why? There's actually a puzzle here that's really good. Or it's like a puzzle solution. Okay. Let me think about it. If I can't think of, it, uh, of anything, I'm mm -hmm. going to ask for number of moves. Because I find... And no, it's, it's, it's one move here. So the knight is... Oh, okay. So this knight is really misplaced here. Mm-hmm. Is there a good move? Try and win the knight? I think so. I... I'm thinking about a couple things. If there's some way that I can move this knight to force you to move something, then I mm -hmm. can take the knight for free with my queen. Mm -hmm. um, I see a little fork right here, but, but there, there's I a pawn. Take yeah. and I take, yeah. So not really. Well, I guess maybe I just move him here. That's and then that's I'm actually kind of attacking these, but I don't know. It's not, it's not a bad idea, um, but actually oh, the move I'm, that I'm looking oh, for... I'm here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm attacking these two, even though they're defended. Right, that's that's not bad either, but but actually the correct move is, is this is important. Like, you don't want to do this unless you're trying to attack. But normally you don't want to push a pawn here because you would like to castle your king, but in this case you're, yeah. you're attacking this knight. So it's worth it? Where can the knight go? only here and then you capture it and as the knight goes here you capture it so the knight's actually Poor trapped knight. mm -hmm. so that that's why if your opponent brings the knight out early I you can see. push this pawn and the knight ends up in a lot of trouble here ah okay got it i will try to memorize <laughs> i mean it's it's not it's not <laughs> i mean a, a big deal yet but like the the point is, it should just have a basic about, setup. Yeah, just. Mm, okay, so when what, it comes to mm -hmm. like bishops, it's very easy to see like they spread out via the diagonals. With knights, mm -hmm. I just have to start remembering like the specific spots that they can go, and especially if they come out uh, a little bit early and I have some pieces develop. And if he does this, he only has two spots to go, and if I can. Remember that visually, mm -hmm. then I know where to push to trap them. Right. That's what I'm saying. I need to. But I think the reason that, that, that I like the setup as well is because like it's a very easy. So normally black's probably going to push pawn to prevent that. So like they they can push this pawn. You castle and they bring the knight out because normally black wants to develop. But if you can if you can force the knight to move at the very start of the game before you can bring the bishop and get your king out of the center, it's very bad. Um, but the development is very easy. So like when you have the white pieces, you will move the queen here. Black will move the bishop. And you'll actually move the rook here. Mm, that's so nice for my rook. Also because you're pinning this pawn potentially. So like if black castles, you could maybe even play a move like this. And if black captures a pawn, you lose the queen. True. I also am able to bring my bishop okay. on this nice and when diagonal. I push my pawn and here um I think I well okay let me see for a second I have two ways to take if I take like this and you take I take if I take like this and you take I also take but I think I take with the bishop because if you don't take because you're pinned, then I can 
Yeah. So actually, yeah. you're 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 right, but here you take with the knight um, and not the bishop. And the reason you take with the knight is because you see these bishops again; they're on these diagonals towards where the king is. Ah, got it. So here, no, no, sorry. After this, mm -hmm. this, this, take. Mm -hmm. As black, what do you do? I mean, you're you're just doing very well. It's white. But to sort of yeah. build upon this, um, let's just say, let's just say I move my bishop here. So this is a sort of a reasonable move because I, I want to take away this bishop. It's really, really dangerous on this diagonal. Mm -hmm. So now I want to see, okay, so you trade the bishops. And now you take this pawn. Let me take, and what's your next move? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is four. Yep. And so what happens when I move my knight? Om nom nom. Mm -hmm. And when I take? I want to say I take, but I don't know about that. Give me a second to brain. Feel like... Um. Mm hmm And what happens when I move my king? Exactly, and you're just ahead. You're up. You're up one night. Yes, yes. You can't take that. Exactly, <laughs> because your queen protects your rook. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Yay! That's that's great. So now, for <laughs> okay. sometimes after a move, I'm literally I'm doing this, like I'm looking out into the horizon, because I'm like, I didn't look at that the whole way through. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, yeah. but I mean, you anyway, can't yeah. you can't really see the whole solution to the end. But it's like your intuition is <laughs> very very good. Like in terms of what you think is the right move. Like your first instinct is right most of the time. You might, like the order might be slightly off, but generally the move that you come up with is correct. Okay. It, it is it is generally very correct. So like the, the the reasoning behind this opening is that what you play for when you do this opening um, is that you basically try to get your king castled. You you want to um, let's say black pushes the pawn. You want to you want to move your bishop bishops out so you get the bishops and you want to put your rooks on these two squares. So in black castles you go rook here. By the way, why mm -hmm. is it that you decide to do this rook and not this one? Very good question. The reason for that is because you'll notice. Um, let me just put the queen here. Is that this is actually it's not a completely open open file for the rook. There are a couple pieces in the way. But at some point down the road, you're probably going to move this knight or move this bishop and try to put pressure with this rook. So if you think about it from this standpoint, um, let me just put the rooks on these two squares. The rook here is behind this pawn um, in the center. Mm, you're kind of blocking right. your other broski. Exactly. Mm, got it, got it. So normally what you want to do is like you want these rooks on these open lines. So like if you think back to what I said at the start, I'll just make a couple of random moves here. Like, you know, r r if you remember, there was that example I gave before where you wanted to push a pawn and open the line for the rook. You want to open this file yes. for the, this rook. So kind mm -hmm. of that's the reason that you want to put this rook here so that your rooks, even if it's not completely open, it, it is still as open. The rooks are really, really placed since there are no pawns sort of in front of this rook. And then this pawn here is under a lot of attack from this rook and this bishop. Okay. So this is very, very good. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to think about like what... So also like, let's just say your opponent, for example, when you try to gambit the pawns, they're like, no, I, I don't, I don't want to capture the, 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 the pawn here. You can then try to force your opponent to capture by bringing your knight out. Because again, you want to move the bishop's castle, move the queens to these two center squares, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So let's just say I ignore it. At some point, you're going to have to capture, but you can recapture. Yeah. Now you actually get a, get um, pawns in the center here. Quite good for me. 
Yeah. And, Do you and... not capture Hero's Block? Uh, well, your opponent can either accept the Gambit or not accept it. Ah, I see. So, like, when, when you get to, like, this sort of position also, let's just say your mm. opponent tries to play in center, you can close this down. So, you see, black is a pawn chain again. Yeah. But this bishop is kind of inside the uh, inside the, the, the pawn chain. I don't know what term you want to use for it, but basically it's not, it's not, like, on this square. If it was on this square, attacking the knight would be a lot better than where it's at. Yeah. So this is like really good. And then just like, let me see if I have a game. I think I have a game to illustrate. Like when you when you get pawns like this, what you want to do is you want to put the bishop um, on this. Let me just make some moves. Let me get this. You want to put the bishop on this square because it keeps an eye on this diagonal. So let's say black moves what? here. You both castle. Oh, for the inevitable castle. Mm-hmm. Got it. And now there's a, there's this term. Um, it's called it's called the Greek gift. It's uh, where you basically gambit. You, you give away your bishop, and your opponent thinks it's like it's it's like a gift. It's like you know like it's for you know, free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you know the Trojan horse from you know two thousand years ago. Um, but in fact, it's like you actually are. Um, it, it's really really good. So what happens when I take mm -hmm. when I take the bishop? There's mm -hmm. check. And what here. happens when I go here? I do this. Wait. I mean, I can see in two moves how this would be lovely. I'm trying to see if there's anything that blocks it, but I don't think so, right? Yeah. It's just it's just completely winning here. You have a checkmate. checkmate yeah. So now I'm going to ah. bring my king forward here. So now you can't really bring the queen out, but... Yeah. It's, but I feel like this is a really bad position for your... It is. So I want to see if you can figure yeah. out where to move the queen. Okay. Uh, my first thought is to move her here so she defends and also is kind of pressuring the king. Um... Uh, I can also move here to block him, but I don't know if that's good. Or... Here. I was trying to think of, like, defending the knight diagonally. Mm -hmm. Or... So again, what, what I said I before... This, I think you take... Well, the, the bishop actually is protecting the knight. Oh, that's true. I wasn't even... I was so tunneled on the queen. <laughs> well, I um, said it's a queen move. So it, it is a queen move. And like I said before, your original instinct was correct. Like, this is the correct move. Oh, okay. So I'm going to make Yay. a ran random move. And, and I want you to find the best discover, discover check. Because you see how the king is here and the queen is here? Yep. Um, discover check means that I need to move the knight out of the way. I assume that I need to move him in a place where he is... Like, the king can't capture it ideally, but also a place where he's blocking off a lot of space for my king. So let's just see here. He'd be blocking off here and here. Um... If I go here, he's really only blocking this spot, which is not good. So again, confirming, this is night move, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I do this, the king can take, which I don't like, then he's moving back. But maybe moving back is good because I trap him. Well, think about it this way. If you move the knight backwards, I'm just going to re retreat with my king and get it back to safety. Right now, the king's sort of been lured out from from like its its nest here. Like the king is out in the open. Like I'd love mm -hmm. to get my king back to the, the square right here. Yeah. So I want to say it's this. So if you move the knight here, I can move my king backwards, though. And I'm again heading Either right way, back yeah. towards this uh, towards the square that I want. I, I'd love to get my king behind. 
These pawns where I have more defense. Then do I maybe take one of the pawns to ruin your defense? So 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 what are the possible moves that you can play? I guess that's the easiest way to, to think it through. Yeah, here, here. Mm -hmm. Here. Mm hmm Oh, maybe this is quite nice. Here, here. Here, here. <laughs> okay, so okay. so which one do you think it is? If I do this, I am blocking off quite a lot of space. And but also the bishop can take. But that can't be the move that you do because you're in check. Can we just play it out? Sure, go for it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure how uh I You could you could do that. But I don't get checked. Yeah, well, I, I think I think you, you need you, yeah you need more like more experience with the knights because you have a better move. You have, yeah. you have a much better move. Oh. Close. Okay, oh, so like so though. blocks my queen. Yeah. So so remember when you um, when you when you want to try to um create checkmates. Normally you need like you need like two pieces sort of in harmony. They like one guards the other other one. Right, and that's just that's the end of the oh. game. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's something that I need to. You know how you can look up like how to checkmate with this and that. I need to look up how to checkmate with. Uh, I, I, I I think in general, like yeah, you need to do like more with um, with just knights, just just with knights. That's mm -hmm. it. Just like more with more with knights. That's all you really need to do. Because okay. like you're seeing like your first instinct is generally pretty good. Like seeing queen G, moving this queen out where it's like it's towards the king. That that's like I mean already that's like really really good instincts of like where you should put the queen. It's like dude, hitting two birds with one stone because you're like mm -hmm. creating pressure on the king, but also protecting your piece. Right. So so it's like also when you think about this king, like if I move the king out of the way here, you can still mm -hmm. play the same thing, because now your bishop is, is attacking the king. Mm -hmm, true. So this is why, like, when you when you do this, you're like, for example, let, let me just make some moves. Like, if you move the knight backwards and my king can get to safety, it's much safer here than it was when it was out in the open. Because when when the king is up here, there, there are no pieces really that I can bring bring into the game. Do I not still have checkmate in a couple though? Oh uh, well, your opponent can push this pawn here. This is the one move that your opponent can play to attack the queen. Oh, sorry. I mean, if your king moves back here and the pawn is still there. Yeah, so, okay. So I can move the king back. And what's your move here? Uh, I want to do this and this. Right. So, um, okay. So you move here. Let me move my rook over. Mm -hmm. mm, then it is not checkmate yet. But is there something else I can do? Okay, so I'll, I'll play I'm this starting... move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try to find a rook lift. A rook lift on my end? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't I need to get my rook out? <laughs> Well, I said try to find a rook lift, so it's 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 actually not it's not it's not like trip it's not like I'm not trying to trick you. <laughs> so okay, just play it. Okay, I'm gonna take your pawn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well, if you go here though, I can capture with my pawn. Oh, true. So I'd have to go just up here. And what what's your next move gonna be if I just play like just some normal move? Then I do this, and then I do this. And then this is blocked and it's checking. Wait, no, it's not because you can take here. Mm, but then I take. Oh, that's a lot of taking. Oh, geez. So think about this king. Oh, just here. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's just checkmate. The king, king has nowhere <laughs> to go here. Okay, sorry. Can you tell me the definition of a rook lift again? So rook lift is normally when you bring a rook into the center of the board and then you bring it up mm -hmm. uh, either to like this uh, square on this 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 third row or the fourth mm -hmm. row, and then you're gonna swing it over to one side. So for example, 
Um, let me just make some random moves. For example, a rook lift could also be where you're gonna swing it over to this side of the board as well. Mm -hmm. But it just means you bring the rook up and then you swing it over to one of the sides. I see. I was thinking a rook lift, like where I'm lifting up another piece. <laughs> but okay, I get it now. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. A bro lift, you know, bros lifting together. <laughs> But here, it's just the rook doing all the lifting. <laughs> exactly. So so one last thing. So let's say you, you move the rook up here. And I'm going to move my knight here. So I'm attacking your rook. Mm -hmm. I mean, I still do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Don't I? And now when I block. I feel like something along the lines of boom, bam, boom, bam. Let's just see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the end of the game. That's checkmate again. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, yeah. So it's like the, the... that was my instinct. I wasn't sure if it was good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not even really sure what to say. But I, I what I would what I would say in general is like. Your instincts for attacking are really, really good. Like you're, th this is like why I was saying like, if you do these puzzles more and more of them, like it's all gonna sort of come together. Cause you're already seeing these like, these checkmates that I would not really be expecting you to see at this at this stage since you're so new to the game. There's potential. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, I'll, I'll just say that. I don't wanna, I don't wanna like, put too much pressure, but I, I think like you're doing very, very well. This is like really, really Yay. good for, for one week. Yay. This is like extremely good, so yeah. Okay, let's do a, a couple more things. I don't want to sure. fry my brain too much. I feel like I'm going to hit a point of like, I can't intake more information. <laughs> I, I mean, like actually, I don't think anyone else that I've done like collaboration with has like mm -hmm. lasted more than one hour. Like everyone's like, they're just done <laughs> after one hour. So like already this is like really, really impressed. Or impressive. I think it's just because I know there's so much to learn. I just want to like keep listening, keep listening. But there is <laughs> kind of like, put, like optimal amount of time to learn. At some point, <laughs> it just kind of falls off. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like actually like even me as like playing playing it professionally. Like some people, they can like look at variations like memorize memorizing for like ten hours a day. Like they'll actually like be really insane like that. But like I know like for myself after like three or four hours when I do like in a professional yeah. way like I just like I zone out completely and it's like I don't remember anything. So everyone's different of course. Mm -hmm. So okay. Um. All right. So let's look then. Okay. So just to go through this again. So we just one more time. So if they play this pawn push, which is a ceiling defense. Not gonna lie, me and openings don't quite remember. Remember you want to play and... a gambit, so you play in the center right away. Ah uh, yes. And when they take, take, yeah, you go, uh, you go here. Mm -hmm. And when they take, you take. And just more than like the specific moves, what is the optimal development? Where do you want to put your, how do you want to develop your bishops, your queen, and, and all your pieces? Do you remember the optimal squares? I'm thinking. You did say something about taking advantage of them opening up this essentially mm -hmm. okay so so, so okay I'll, I'll make the first move you want to put the bishop here i'm gonna develop my knight so remember you want to develop and castle your king ah this mm -hmm. okay so i'll push my pawn mm -hmm. i will just develop my knight and then I think, well, I'm assuming bishop, queen next, or queen, and then bishop next. So I wouldn't really worry about the specific, specific order of the moves, but it's just, yeah, just to remember the squares that you want the pieces on. Do I want my bishop there. He is defended. Right, that's actually not bad. Um, but in this case, what you want to do is since you've given up a pawn for these open, these open files, you want to put the bishop mm -hmm. here. And when they Why move the bishop, that? where do you want to put your queen? Somewhere up here, I think. 
Well, it's, it's still in the center actually, but you just want to move it over one square. And the reason is you want to create a square for a rook so that you can put a lot of pressure towards the pawn and towards the queen. Oh yeah, the open file. Right. And so then, then once they castle, which rook do you put on the square? This one, so I'm not blocking anything. Right. And so in this case, I'm actually moving my queen. I want to see if you can find a way to win this pawn here in the center. Okay. It's attacked by one. Wow, just one. So um, I push this, I think. And then I'll just capture the pawn though. It's just an even trade, one pawn for one pawn. Ah, so capture without losing anything in that card. If I go here, this is a two step to capture it, but I still lose it like this. Mm. Yeah, this is this is the correct move. Yeah. Sorry, I was just trying to see how many things are attacking it and whether I win the trade, but I do. Right, because right now I have to move the queen or I lose the queen. So this is actually a, a type of a fork as well, because you're attacking the queen and the pawn oh, at yeah. the same time. And you have one, you have like the knight, the bishop, and the rook attacking the pawn, and your opponent has a mm -hmm. bishop and a queen defending it. So once you move the queen like here, what would your next move be? Okay. Right, and what happens if I capture? I can also capture, and you can't capture back because then you're trading queen for my rook. Oh. Or, mm, do I capture with my rook? No, I think I capture with my bishop because I can also attack your rook. It's a fork. Well, more, more than a fork, actually, uh, I lose my queen. Because your rook guards a bishop, and I have no squares for my queen. There, there are no squares. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so this is just like, just, just winning. It's just completely winning. So this is, this is actually... winning just... sounds very nice. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what what I would say also though is like, um, like when you when you're ahead in material, for example, like let's just say your opponent gives up a queen for like a bishop here, what you, what you try to do is you try to try to trade off pieces. So right now you control this this open file. You can you can do the uh, the the bro lift or what whatever it's called. Um, but, but 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 also you can like you can like for example, if I push my pawn, you can try to trade off, make these even trades for like knights. Get the knights mm -hmm. off the board and then try to trade rooks. So for example, let's say we trade. Um, let's say I go here, you go here. You can try to um, just basically trade off all your opponent's force until you just simply have a queen against like a knight or against a bishop. Mm. So that, that's what you want to do when you're when you're way ahead in the game. Just do even trades because at the end of the day, you'll still be ahead a little bit over his just king. Right, so, so like normally if you're ahead by like a queen for like say a bishop or a knight, I would suggest trying to to trade trade rooks off the board because if you think about it, after the queen, the rooks are the most uh, important Powerful pieces. Piece. Yeah. And then the other thing also is because, unlike a certain other Canadian streamer, you actually know how to checkmate with a king and a queen against a king. Um, <laughs> I watched that one. <laughs> um, yeah. So since you actually know how to make that checkmate, it's also like you have this technical <laughs> knowledge of how to make the checkmate, so you can. Um, so like I wouldn't be, really be worried a, a, about like making these exchanges because you know how to uh, you know mm -hmm. how to to do these checkmates. Yeah, but again, that's also why I hate trading off my queen, even if it's advantageous. Right. Well, I mean, I think like probably the I mean I'll, I'll try to think about other openings, but the main thing is like just playing openings that are aggressive where the queens do not come off the board early. I think that's really okay. really important. So, yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, um, let me think. Do you know how to check me with a king and rook against the king or not? King and rook. Against the king. Sort of. I think I could figure it out. It's a little bit like ladder. Yeah, I think I could do that. Okay, let me, uh, let me. Test me. Sure, yeah. why not? Okay. Wait, whoops. I will go off in one second. Yeah, but this is very, very good for one week. This is, uh, like, fantastic. Yay! Honestly, chess has been really fun. It's, I think it's, I mean, it's really fascinating because, like, 
there's so much that you can learn. I think like it's not, I mean, everyone like they have their own like learning curve, but like you, you have a very natural talent for it, especially like with puzzles. So like the more puzzles you do, the more like you get into it. I mean, I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. All right, yeah. let me invite you to this board. Thank One second. You. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so this is like um, king and rook against king. So it's kind of the same thing where you want to use the rook to cut off the king, but it's a little bit different because of course, like with the queen, you can make the L shape because like the queen would cover both of these squares. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the method that I would say, so like I'll, I'll show you how is like right now you see how the king cannot cross. This rook covers all these yep. squares. So what and you kind of these, even though not completely. I wouldn't. I wouldn't actually even worry about the about like you know like. Um, like what it covers up and like uh, up and down. Just worry about the second mm -hmm. row. So like you want to move the ki the rook here. Mm -hmm. uh, since people in my chat are asking, uh, Pokemon does know how to checkmate with the king and queen against the king. I saw her do it the other day, so that's why I'm not even starting there because she already knows. Yeah, how to you do can it. test yeah. me there too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll show them. <laughs> so okay, so like you move the rook here. So like right now, what you would like to do is you want you're you're covering all these squares on this um the second row, right? Mm -hmm. The king can never cross. So if I move my king over here, there's like this opposition of the king's, um, like the king still can't cross. When the king comes here, you can mm -hmm. actually now check. And the king can't come forward. So when the king goes back, you're now, it's now one, one row further. It's not just the second row. It's actually, you're cutting it off by one more row on this third rank. Yeah. So let's and say- And I think I just mm -hmm. keep doing that. So let me see. And then I push, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, that's fine. Okay, so what's your next move? You play white. So how, are, so remember you need the kings like sort of opposite each other like this, so it yep. can't, it can't come forward. Right, but now I'll go here. And then, I, th okay. I think if I sort of play it out, I will get the hang of it sooner mm -hmm. or later. Well, I'll show you the first move. So like, if you, if you make this check here, the king comes forward, right? Yeah, yeah. So you don't want the That's king not right. crossing. So I think I do this. But now I'll just go here. Maybe I do this. But I'll just go back. So I'll, I'll show, I mean, I'll show you a basic technique. So you see how this king is over one square? You really want the king to be on this square so that you can check and it can't come forward, yeah. right? You want the king's opposite. So when the king is on this square, what you can do is you can actually just waste a move and swing the rook to the other side. Okay. But what stops him from just doing this okay. and further running? Then you go here. And then at some point we're on these edges? You can do those edges, but I mean, I don't even think you need to really know that. You don't even need to know that, that concept so much because here you see what, the, mm -hmm. what happens when the king comes back. Then I put right. So now I'm gonna move my king here. Okay, I'm gonna go here. No, 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 no. Now my king comes forward. Oh. Remember, you need the kings to be opposite each oh, other. Oh, true. So I'm gonna go here. Swing. Mm -hmm. And if I go here. Okay, sorry. Could you just visualize for me real quick why you don't go here? I can. If I go here, you just go here. And then if you go there again, you can just go here. And then you're forced to either go here or up yourself. Right. right? So if I go back, you just come here. And again, the king is it's one it. row off. And if yeah, I go here, was... it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. You make the check because the kings are opposite. So it still can't cross. And then it has to go back another row. Okay. So, okay. I'll go here. <laughs> exactly. I'll go if I go here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost didn't see it. I won't lie. It, it's oh, it's fine. I don't know if I did mm -hmm. it in the right order, but so I'll, I'll figure it out anyways. Go here. Right now, once again, remember when the kings are opposite like this, if you go this way, I'll go this way. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but what you can do is you can just waste a move here. Ah, okay. And then if I start going this way, then you come over. And it's the same thing. Like, I can't go back because then you'll make the check. But I shouldn't cross you. Right. So so basically, whenever, whenever you get, like, the kings, um, like, for example, in this situation, when the kings are like this, you can just, 
you, you just waste a move so the king has to come back and you just you can waste the rook moves until it's your opponent's moves and the kings are like one square opposite each other and if they come back here and they're they're like facing each other with this this one like buffer buffer in between then you make the chuck yeah so okay let's go back to the beginning because i think you more or less have this so okay what's your first move well i'll let you do this move i'll go here You could do you can do that. Okay, I'll go here. Okay. I'll I go feel here. yeah, I feel like I need to go through this until mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, until okay, I'm so so like... what you want to do is move move the king over. Again, like when the kings are opposite, you always want so when the king comes back, then you can make the shot. So if I go here. Now I can do this. Mhm. Mm so I will go here. Mm -hmm. I go here. Mm -hmm. And now if I go this way. I think I chase. Exactly. Yeah, because when the king starts going oh, off yeah. to the other side, you chase that whenever I come back and the kings are facing each other, then, then you always I make push. a shot. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll go here. Sorry, the reason that like kind of that sequence boomed in my brain was because I didn't know what happens at the edge. I don't even worry about the edge. You just like you, you keep yeah, you keep if the king goes to the edge, it doesn't matter. You just need to remember the opposition where the kings are um opposite each other. That's right now. So here. So you remember if your opponent goes here, th then you want to have that check to to win the game. Yeah, so, so instead I do this. Mm-hmm. Very good. And then I cheat. But I mm -hmm. don't cross. Right. So okay. By the way, on this move, is it better for me to match you or just go up one? Um, I wouldn't really worry about that because then you're only going to get confused. I think either square is fine. Um, but here you should actually go to the center square because when I come over, you can make the check again. Okay. But you're not going to be able to do that every single time when you come up with the king. So it's like, just remember that whenever the kings are like opposite each other, you can swing the rook to the other side. So that when it mm -hmm. comes and, and there's the opposition of the kings across from each other, then you can make the check and force the king further back. Okay. So I'll go here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, now remember though, uh, actually it's important. When the kings are like, when the king is trying to go to this side, you want it over on this side. But if the king is like over on this side, then you want to check from the opposite side. So whichever way the king is going, um, you want the rook on the other side. You mean whichever way I want? So the... let's say let's say you go rook here. You can't yeah. really check because like then the king comes forward. So when the king gets over to this side, this is where you just you can just start burning moves and keep the rook on this far side. If that makes sense. And vice versa, let's say you get to this position, for example. Like you can't check because then the king comes forward. But now you can just waste a move and go over here. And now when the king goes over, you start chasing it again. And whenever it comes back, then you ah. make the chop. Okay. <clears throat> Basically, when it's running away from my king, mm -hmm. I chase it. If the rook is... Yeah, basically, yes. Well, let's just when play it out. it's running... Mm -hmm. Away from my rook, do I swing? Uh, Generally, yes. Yes. Hmm. Anyways, play it out. <laughs> right. Okay. I feel like, yeah, sometimes I just need to almost like get enough visualiz visual visualization experience of check. Uh -huh. Okay, so now I'll go here. Uh -huh. Okay, and now to wait one more. Very good. See, I guess the way I saw it was like, what's stopping you from just going back here? Right, because then you just start chasing with your king. Ah, I see. So, okay, ah, so what's your next I move? I see. Yeah, and let's check me. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time. Let's okay. see. It. Okay. 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 So it's your move here. <laughs> mm 
I'm trying to see if I prefer the square matching or square to one side, you know? Right, 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 exactly. Yeah, no, this is, no, but this is, like, the thing is that if you know this way of making the checkmate, then, like, um, like, it doesn't matter what your opponent does. So, like, even though they're technically yeah. they're quicker ways, it's, like, it's a forced, like, set as of moves. As long as you at know how to yeah. do it, within right. 50 moves, you're good. Right, and that's why I think it's really, really important. It's just, like, it doesn't matter, like, the style points, how, how many moves it takes. As long as you know how to do it and you're going to win the position every single time if it gets there, that's what counts. So okay. you moved. Okay, I'll go here. Let's go here. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've swung once. So I, I arbitrarily went to... Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, that's like just how checking. fast can I chase this king? You have nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, I mean that's like that's uh that's that's perfect. That's yay! Incredible. Okay, I yeah, I actually hadn't learned this one, so I'm glad I know it now. I did two rooks, queen and king, mm -hmm. bishop and bishop. I think that's it. When it got to bishop and knight, I was like, oof. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't worry about Bishop and Knight right now. That's like, I, I don't think there's anyone in Pog Temps that would even like try to show that to. It's like, there's, that's never gonna happen. Just like never gonna happen. So, yeah. I think it could be a good drill if I got to the point where I felt confident learning it. Yeah, I mean, that would Just be amazing. Just to be able to amazing. visualize the way that the Bishop and Knight work. Actually, yeah, that that is that is kind of true. Yeah, but I mean, I certainly would not recommend that like right now because it's <laughs> it's very very difficult. So yeah, yeah. Um, Yay! all right. This was a very good lesson. Yeah, no no problem. Glad you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, if you want to do something more, just just let me know. I mean, there's of course like what six Heck weeks, yeah. I guess. So yeah. Can you maybe get? I think it would be really cool, especially for the viewers, if you gave me like a study plan. And maybe like weekly or bi-weekly, we kind of have like a follow-up lesson, or I also mm -hmm. think you'll be able to gauge how much I'm progressing and what I should work on next. Well, y you'll be happy to know, like, I mean, I'm not saving this, but like I can actually, there's a way that I can just like create files of these mates and all these different things. So it's like, yeah, it's mm -hmm. like, it's, that's one of the best things about chess, yeah. Cool. Okay, Great. I'm really excited to improve. All right. Thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate yeah. it. No problem. Glad you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, hope you hope you have a lot of fun with chess. Looking forward to Pog Champs. Yeah. Great. Okay. All Bye. right. Have a good one. Have a great rest of your stream. You too. Bye.